All right, guys, it is hot. It is hot out. It's summertime. It's humid. Uh, I do have the GPUs off because they really are not profitable. I got my power bill. And I don't know about you. Uh, you may have noticed uh, a price increase. Uh, you may know that you may have had a fixed uh, cost per kilowatt hour. But double check. I think uh, most power companies have cranked that. Say you're making 13 cents. You may be paying like 25% uh, more right now. Double check it. Most power companies did send out a bill, a notice, not a bill, a notice and a bill that your power will be going up. And for various reasons, uh, you can just look at the economy and uh, you can figure out what is going on. Not good. Not good for anyone, man. This is, uh, this is worse than the 70s with uh, Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter is now no longer the worst president in history. <laughs> he has been greatly replaced by the, uh, the people running this show now. It's not looking good. Not looking good for everybody. Anybody. I don't know. So we are sitting here, we are sitting here in the hot room, and uh, I wanted to point out my Vivo Sun. I do have a Vivo Sun grow tent. It's okay, it did the job, contained most of the heat. Uh, the heat would still radiate up like a wood stove and go to the top of the room, and I had to put some egress fans in to uh, blow out the heat, not just from the um, grow tent per se, but the room where the heat would radiate out of. And now I had this Vivo Sun for about, what, four months? We're six, seven, eight months now. Let's say eight months. No more than eight months. And uh, hold on a second. Let's see if we can hear this. You can start to hear the motor go. I've owned pools, swimming pools, and you can tell when the motor starts going. It's usually a bearing thing. Water gone in and started rusting. I took this apart. Uh, it just these things twist off on either end, and then you're at the motor. The fan unscrews. But all you see is the motor coil, the electrical motor, and there's nothing to do. I mean, you can't, other than strip that thing down, which there was no easy way to do that. Uh, it just seems like the bearings are gone. The thing is cheap. I'm a little ticked off that I spent 80 bucks on this. So, um, Vivo Sun, please do better. Please do better on your 8-inch inline motors. Uh, not happy at all that it's got. It's not even 8 months. And uh, it is a variable speed puppy right here. And even the high setting is not really that great. I should have done more research. Again, another lesson learned from learning on your own on uh, managing the heat. I say man uh, managing the heat next to paying the freaking power bill. Managing the heat in a grow tent and a crypto farm is the biggest pain in the butt. And uh, I can see now, I give credit to those guys who are putting this stuff outside their houses, not in their basements or their attics, but outside in a shed. It makes 100% because that way you're not heating up the building you're living in or, or, you know, making noise in the building you're in and you're not fighting your air conditioner too, which is going to exponentially grow your power bill as you're trying to egress the heat, the heat out of your room. The, the temperature in the house is going to run. The AC is going to always run. It's just not a, it's just, it kind of sucks, man. Stuff going into this, you should have known. And uh, I don't know, man, maybe time to put a little shed out like other people are doing. Get one of those Home Depot puppies. Just like, I just need something cheap. But then you got to make sure it just keeps the moisture away from these things because those heat sinks will start rusting. Uh, the screws will start rusting on the GPUs, etc. But things are off now because, again, electricity costs have shot up. Uh, Ethereum is horrible. As we speak now, it's over 16 seconds per block time. It's not looking good. And I don't know what day we're in here. Um, 21 June, baby. 2 1 June 2022. Things are, it's the bear market. If it's your hobby, great. You, you, you know, you spend money on a hobby anyway, so maybe that money you're spending goes towards electricity if you can, if you can afford it. But anyway, I just want to say these Vivo Suns, you might want to do your research. The tent's fine. It's the inline fan. The 8-inch is a piece of crap. Uh, should not go after this long and not be uh, main, maintainable. If anything, there should be an easy way to pop it apart, change the bearing, and get it back and running. But it's starting to go. I can hear it. And uh, one thing that sucks, if you're running your GPUs in a grow tent, and that thing goes. You're kind of toast. Your, uh, your um, grow tent's going to overheat. Let's go back over here. You're sick of looking at that crappy fan. Your uh, grow tent will overheat. Your GPUs will go higher and actually probably the outside temp. And it'll affect the memory temps. And uh, maybe they'll just shut down. Hopefully they'll shut down. You'll probably get a TDR error on Windows. And maybe if you're running Linux or HiveOS and all that crap, it should detect an error fault out. And uh, hopefully shut down through a fault. Uh, that's the plan <laughs> But again, if you're out and about, if you're gone for a while, hours or days, and you're running your farm, you're going to be nervous because if these fans go and you're not pushing that heat out 
first your house is going to heat up, your building's going to heat up, and your GPUs are going to massively heat up uh, to cause all this, right? So something to consider, get a backup fan. I need to start looking around for a better brand, a better quality item. I'm never buying another VivaSun product. Again, piece of crap, a motor, electrical motor. It's a fan for God's sakes. Uh, even a floor fan doesn't go bad. I don't get it. I've had a house fan in the attic for years and the thing's not even going bad. This thing's starting to go and uh, I don't want to not be here. I don't want to be out and about when the thing goes and I'm running GPUs and we have a, a massive heat buildup. It's just not good for anyone. So there you go. Just want to give a friendly reminder. If you're getting into this crap or you have this Vivo Sun thing, consider buying a backup 8-inch inline fan to replace it. Let it die. You know, let it go. Get, your, get as much money out, uh, out of that turd as you can. And I'm looking around right now for replacements. I'll even be happy to spend a third of the cost and buy a couple. But I bet if you buy something that's just a generic fan, it's going to last a lot longer this piece of crap Vivo Sun. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Just want to point that out because I got a little discouraged hearing it start to go. And I spent time stripping it apart. The rigs are down. Cleaned all the GPUs, but they're just sitting there idle. Because, again, when I saw the power bill, I saw the power bill and I wasn't too pleased. I went, geez, I'm not making any money. But then you shouldn't really look at the fiat. You should look at stacking coins and, uh, and uh, planning accordingly. Um, so I don't know. I'm kind of debating what I'm doing. I'm running the CPUs right now because I am solo mining. And I'm hitting it really good on solo mining, which is not, again, it's pennies. It's not life-changing money. But at least it keeps me in the positive range where I can mine some of these profitable coins based on my hash rate on my rigs, my Ryzen's. Uh, my 3900, 3950s. I'm not buying any more equipment right now because I need to see where things are going to flush out. But on these rigs, I can get a couple bucks a day and uh, mine the coins. But I'm mining all the coins in the most profitable algorithm for my rigs, getting paid out in Bitcoin. Everything has got to be paid in Bitcoin. I'm sick of all these other coins because they kind of will disappear. Exchanges will freeze it or not list them anymore. And you're kind of like, what am I going to do with this? Uh, yeah, I learned my lesson. If I, Even a Bitorium and all that crap, I should have mined it to Bitcoin. Uh, never again. I'm not going to hold those, hold those things. I always focus on Bitcoin because the way Bitcoin goes, the market goes. Yeah, so I don't know. That's just my position, not financial advice. Just my experience of what I've seen since 2016, the heyday of 2017, and the 85% drop. In crypto in 2018, I don't know. Are the feds running crypto? Do the government control this thing? I have no idea. No one knows what's going on, why it's going up and down. It may be in the software itself. The algorithm may be uh, this cyclical up and down just to let people know, hey, if you're paying attention, now's the time to get in or now's the time to get out. You don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Uh, so that is it. We're burning up here. I'm going to go look for fans now, yet spend more money. Uh, while well, I'm trying to make money. So it's just like running a business. If you are ever run a business, you never seem to get above water most times. Uh, you're always uh, putting out money to fix things. And uh, it, it gets a little old after a while, but it's not a job. It's a hobby, but I think I'm maxed out right now. And I love to get this thing outside, <laughs> out of this room. Even the CPUs put out a little bit of heat, but uh, I am pushing the heat outside on that. So yeah, look out for the Vivo Sun crap. Uh, it was expensive fan, 90 bucks, I think at the time. And it didn't even barely, I mean, it's barely going to last a year. What a piece of crap. So uh, let me know what fans you're using if you recommend a different brand fan. I mean, I'm happy with a Walmart special at this point, an 8-inch Walmart special or an Ace Hardware. Something, I don't care. It's probably a lot better than this thing I got. And I need a backup. When this thing goes, I'm going to put that in. Uh, maybe put two in, run them both and get two exhaust pushing this puppy out. I don't know. It's all that sweet balance of air pressure, negative pressure, positive airflow, negative airflow, blah, 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 blah. It's all science. It's not just turning on your rigs and running and going out and uh, buying margaritas. You got to maintain these puppies like they're your uh, long lost stepkids or something. I don't know. All right, I'm out, guys. Go forth through great things. Just a little update. Not much happening. Got my CPU payout from Zerg Pool, and I'm still modding. I'm at 14% of my payout again. I'm just going to let them run, and I'm probably eating a little bit of power, but what are you going to do? I don't know. Just can't have them sit here. But the GPUs are out because I don't want to cook the house and bake pizza inside. It's just ridiculous. But uh, things to know if you're a miner. The heat. The heat. The heat. All right, I'm out. Take care.